Hello everybody, in dom 601 we're in victory here, and I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and had the chance to spend time with both family and friends. I personally really enjoyed Christmas this year because yeah, I'm older, the magic is kind of gone, but I do believe this year made me gain a new perspective on it. So let's get on to what you guys actually care about, which is my haul for this year, because I didn't get a lot this year because I am older and I mostly got money that I used to support multi-billion dollar franchises in 2022. And I do want this video to be a little more chill because it is the end of the year and uh, we've all had a pretty uh, interesting year haven't we? And this is the last video I'll make for 2021 so let's just sit back and relax while I throw in a few garbage jokes. So the first category I'll be covering is movies. Because for those who don't know, I am a film student, sadly, so therefore I'm very passionate about movies, and I'm very much a film enthusiast, despite me having a dinosaur YouTube channel. So first up, out of the three movies that I got, I got The Suicide Squad, which is actually co coincidentally my third favourite film of the year. As far as I'm concerned, this is the only Suicide Squad movie. And then I got my second favourite film of the year, Godzilla vs Kong. <laughs> Look, if you lot actually care about ranking, just go and follow my letterboxd account. <laughs> because I do not have my favourite film of the year, because June doesn't come out until late January. My lungs taste the air of time, bone past fallen sand. Then I got quite possibly my most surprising gift of the year, which was District 9 for my brother. It, this is very surprising because I literally haven't talked to anybody about this movie. Apparently my brother got it for me because the aliens reminded him of me. To be honest, I see the resemblance. Or he could have just looked at my Netflix account. But before we move on to stuff that you not actually care about, Let's instead talk about my only non-dinosaur toy, Nemesis Prime. Because recently I decided to pretty much restart my collection, because all of my pre-existing Transformers are either just broken, or they all blend together in a massive silver mess because they're all based off Michael Bay designs. So this is my rebooted collection so far. The Autobots are very outmatched. And I also find it funny that my first Optimus Prime in my rebooted collection is the evil version of him. I also got quite a few shirts. I got two Avengers ones, two generic blue ones, and a classic Jurassic Park shirt. It's my first time getting this design, and I also got a plain T-Rex logo of it. I know what I'll be wearing when Dominion comes out then. And now moving on to the stuff that you sort actually care about, the dinosaur toys. First up, I got the Pentaceratops. I love this. This just feels huge. It's way bigger than I was expecting it to be. That's what she said. I firmly believe all Ceratopsians should have been this big. Because both Nazutoceratops, Sanoceratops, and Triceratops are tiny compared to the carnivores. I believe that at least the Triceratops should be redone like this. This is a true Ceratopsian. This is something that can truly defend itself against a carnivore. Then we have the Baby Brachiosaurus, also known as Firecracker, hence explaining the Camp Cretaceous packaging. <laughs> I really like the look of this. Once again, I'm very surprised how big this is. That's what she said. However, I haven't opened this yet. However, I do really like the look of this. And I also got the Alioramis. Twice. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. So yeah, I, I accidentally got two of them. That's why I haven't opened the Bracky yet. Because I will be returning one of these. And I'm just keeping the Bracky sealed for now in case that might in interfere with things. Oh yeah, and I also got my diet for the next few weeks. I'm not going to survive this, am I? 